Hey guys, what's up? This is Warren here, and today I am going to show you how to install Resurrection Remix ROM based on Android Nougat 7.1 on the Redmi Note 3. So, without any further delay, let's get started. Okay, before getting started, if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, then hit that red subscribe button right now because you will love the content on our channel and hit that bell button to get notified whenever I upload a video. So first of all, download these zip files which is the resurrection remix from zip package, gap zip package and sandwich in mode 14 firmware. And as always, all the links will be in the description down below so do not worry about that. Once all the files are downloaded, place them in one folder and first of all power off your device and boot into TWRP. By holding volume up and power button at the same time. Once you see a my logo, just leave the buttons. As you can see, we have successfully booted into TWRP. Once you boot into TWRP, just go to backup and backup everything. I will not backup my data because I have already created a backup and the backup process will take some time. So to flash this resurrection remix ROM, you need to be on global MIUI stable ROM or MIUI developer ROM. And to get VOLT working on your Redmi Note 3, you need to make a backup of EFS and afterwards restore that backup. Now come back and go to wipe and swipe to factory reset or you can also go to advance and select everything except internal storage and external storage. Once the wipe is completed just go to install and select the Synergy mode 14 firmware zip and swipe to confirm flash and once it is done just come back and select the resurrection remix rom zip file and swipe to confirm flash. And at last flash the gaps file and once the flashing process is completed just reboot your system. As you can see we have successfully booted into resurrection remix rom, I'll just set up the device. As you can see the fingerprint sensor is also working and camera and everything else is also working. And guys I think it's pixel UI. So guys as you can see the VLTE is not working. So to get the VLTE working just go to TWRP and restore the EFS file that you have backed up earlier. Now I will be using this ROM for a couple of days and I will post a video on some cool features this ROM has to offer and stay tuned for that and that is how you can install Resurrection Remix ROM on Redmi Note 3. And that's it for this video guys if you have any questions then don't forget to put them in the comment section down below and as always hit the like button if you like this video and I will see you in my next video.